What's the most disturbing piece of audio there is? Jim Jones talking into a microphone while his followers poison their children. The 911 call of the woman whose chimp was eating her friend's face. The 911 call of the lady stuck in her car in a flood and the operator is so unhelpful, she ends up drowning on the other end of the phone. This one is accompanied by video, but the reaction of a man whose wife gets killed when a brick flies off the back of a truck they were driving behind on a highway and came through their windshield. The audio was captured by their dash cam, one of those things you can't unhear. That 911 call from the guy trapped in one of the Twin Towers. I'll never forget that audio. The guy saying in a panic lady, we're not ready to die but it's getting bad then a short while later you hear the floors above coming down he screams oh god no then silence. My only hope is for those that did perish that it was quick and they felt no pain. Absolutely horrific. Edit. The gentleman's name was Kevin Cosgrove. Thank you kind Redditor. I'd venture that the Toolbox Killer's audio recording of them torturing and raping Shirley Ledford is probably pretty high up on the list. It has never been released to the public, or leaked, but there does exist the full transcript online. Forensic therapist here. To anyone who is morbidly curious about this sort of thing or how bad could it be. Please understand that even reading the transcript can trigger PTSD, OCD, or panic attacks. It is not worth it. There is no upside to knowing, I assure you. You will not have your curiosity sated, you'll just feel sick and broken, even for those WHO have seen it all online. If you have kids and read it you're a fucking idiot, and that's my professional opinion. It takes a certain type of person, trained over many years to specifically hear, watch these things and manage their emotions to even analyze this data, and even among the specialists, PTSD is common. Suicide among people who deal with the worst of it is also well documented. Edit. To all the edgelords messaging me telling me how I convinced them to read it by warning them not to. I don't give a fuck what you do. The warning gives a chance to others to leave well enough alone and protect their mental health. It is entirely possible to simultaneously believe the death penalty is given far too often on far too shaky grounds and that there are a select few people who absolutely without a doubt deserve it for the good of society and the human race as a whole. Just in general, I'd add the toy box killer, welcome message, tape. Basically telling the women they kidnapped that they were chosen because they were young and hot, there was no way to escape, and they would be drugged and raped endlessly until David Ray Parker was bored of them, then their memory would be erased and they would be released. The 911 call of Loretta Picard a disabled elderly woman who died in a house fire. She was physically unable to get out of the house on her own. There were firefighters outside her house, but due to a miscommunication, they thought the house was empty. On the call, you hear the woman talking as the fire gets worse and she gets closer to death. Jared from Subway talking about how he likes kids who come from bad homes because they are easier to manipulate into having sex. Don't 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 listen to it. The woman who helped build the case against Jared from Subway by recording him talking about his enjoyment of pedophilia. Listening to a couple minutes of him describing what he's done made me want to vomit. The process of getting this stuff on tape wrecked the woman's mental health, and it's easy to see why. The weepy voiced killer. He killed women, completely mutilated them and proceeded to call the police while crying about what happened and how he can't stop himself. Then he'd hang up and do it again. The 911 call from one of the teachers present at the Columbine school shooting. You can hear the gunshots and the gunmen cheering and whooping. You also hear when they enter the library, which is where they killed the most students. It's chilling. My high school girlfriend's sister was a student at Columbine at the time. She survived simply because another person died very close to her and the gunman thought he got them both. Her stories were beyond description of sadness and agony. She is mostly okay today, from what I understand, but it took a long time to get there. I'm related by marriage to a survivor. She knew the shooters very well. She was in the library that day. She survived only because she had been nice to them. They told her so as they killed the girl next to her. Survivor's guilt is real, and can be devastating. The 911 call from the attack of Travis the chimpanzee. 
Travis's screams can be heard in the background at the start of the tape as Harold, owner of Travis, pleads for the police, who initially believed the call to be a hoax until she said, he's eating her. The cult leader from the documentary Keep Sweet, Pray and Obey where he records his rape of a young girl in his secret room in which only the most devout followers are allowed. It's haunting. The Apollo 1 crew. Those guys were the coolest, calmest, most extensively well-trained former combat, test fighter pilots in the world and all they could do was scream. That audio kept me up the night I heard it the first time. I worked at the National Archives long ago and had access to the transcript, predictably mostly screaming. IIRC the document itself had an attachment saying the audio had been destroyed out of respect for the families. Though I had some doubt of that, only today, 20 odd years later, learning that wasn't true. White was out of his seat, trying to get the door open, which was his responsibility per the checklist. Dudes died, but were still doing their best to the end. Balls of steel. Astronauts are like that when the Challenger exploded, they found toggled switches in the cockpit as the pilots tried to gain control and get oxygen. Similarly, Komarov on his way down to what both he and the operator knew to be certain death. The first man to die in space. TW this has the audio but there's also a photo of his remains in this page, though they are not really recognizable as a one-time human, link. He knew he was going to die before he went up. He went up to spare another man that death, and before the mission he arranged for an open casket funeral so officials would have to look at what they'd done to him. I'm sure others have mentioned it, but one that really, truly upset me was when a poor delivery lady had mistakenly driven into floodwaters. She called 911 and the dispatcher was cruel beyond words. I'll never forget it. This one came to mind. Also the 911 call of the little girl trying to get help for her mom who was stabbed. Shot? And the dispatcher is like, annoyed with the kid and keeps asking her to put her mother on the phone. A 911 call of a little girl who had just found her brother in his room after he committed suicide. The most heartbreaking part is when she screams why did you do it? Honestly, stuff like that is what kept me from going through with anything when I had those thoughts. I didn't want my family to go through that. For me personally, it's audio and video. It's a grandmother who killed her son-in-law and for some reason the police bring in the woman's young granddaughter daughter of the victim. And the grandmother is insane and asks for a hug and the little girl screams no you killed me daddy. I honestly have no idea why the police brought in the girl, it's horrible. The Ruth Price 911 call where she's this old woman living alone in her apartment when some stranger keeps trying to get in. He eventually does and then she can be heard screaming for her life, I think he was stabbing her. Fortunately, she survived and lived another 14 years. Pretty sure it was used to train dispatch in the past for how horrific the audio is. Me. Frustrated that no one is posting links also me. Glad that no one is posting links. Probably the audio of Timothy Treadwell and his girlfriend getting eaten by bears. Edit. I never said that I heard that audio. I only watched Werner Herzog listen to it. The question was what's the most disturbing piece of audio that exists? Not what's the most disturbing piece of audio that you heard. I can't remember which podcasts, but I think it was a psychology, brain science one. There was this girl who was being recorded in surgery for deep brain stimulation to treat her depression. She had completely debilitating depression her life, just felt like utter garbage every moment of every day. Anyway, they needed to try to find the part of her brain they could stimulate to make her feel better. They'd stimulate one spot, ask for her reaction, and then stimulate a nearby spot. Anyway, they hit the right spot and suddenly she felt okay for the first time in her life. Then the surgeon changed something, and you could hear in her voice like she was being sent back to hell. She said something like no, not there, that's the wrong spot, that's horrible and the surgeon said I didn't move the probe to a new spot, I turned it off she thought some new part of her brain was being stimulated and it was causing her to feel incredibly bad. But that wasn't what happened, the stimulator was stopped and she had returned to the same state she'd been in her whole life after a moment of escape from it. Edit. It was an episode of Invisibilia. Link. The voicemail my stepfather left my mom the morning of 9-11. 
He worked on the 99th floor, and called to tell us he was okay, and was making his way down the stairs. He said he would call us again when he was outside. He never did. In the call, you can hear him telling others to keep their heads down, out of the smoke, but what really makes the audio as disturbing as it is, is the screaming. The screams in the background are some of the most bone-chillingly real terror I think I've ever heard. The video that came out a few years ago in Pennsylvania I believe. Two neighbors were arguing over snow removal or something petty. Sounds like it had been going on for some time. Neighbor shoots the female in the street, then goes inside and gets a rifle. As he approaches here lying there in the street the audio picks up him mentioning, next time you'll keep your fucking mouth shut, and then shoots her point blank in the middle of the street. I've seen, heard a lot of nasty stuff on Reddit. But that video, audio will live with me forever as a testament of the evil humans are capable of. This is a minor one, but it messed with me. It was a UFO documentary on TV in about 1995. There's a bit where the woman being abducted puts out a tape recorder in her room all night and captures a male voice saying, don't wake up. So that, in itself, was really scary. But all I could think of was that this was a rape about to happen, and the poor woman was using UFO stuff as a cover to protect her sanity. And that just rocked me. And if someone in law enforcement heard it, wouldn't they feel the same? The whole thing was just hard to process.